as an attendant of the relics, I have stayed near my successor. I am not sure if that mission is the correct one. But if I am with you, I feel I will find some answer. There may be memories of other attendants. I would ask that you find them for me. It seems I can restore the blood code of a Vestige's creator from elements left in the Vestige. If you find any Vestiges, please let me know. It could be a chance to grant you additional strength. Look at me, being threatened by a little boy. I must be letting my image slip. I'm not a little boy! Now hurry up and hand him over, lady! What did I say? You're just a little boy. Still, I have to admire your guts. You want. I'll end up dead anyway if I don't bring those blood beads back. Why? Is someone making you collect the beads for them? What's it to you? You plan on giving alms to a poor, miserable thrall? I'm not giving you anything. You'll have to make your own way in the world. What I can do is offer you a job. I need someone to scout out the place marked on this map. Think you can handle that? She'd sent me to the trove alone and unsupervised, so she couldn't very well complain when I took every last blood bead. After all, who am I to turn down an offer like that? I doubt I'll ever see her again anyway. your unexpected trips down memory lane. Stop that. I do what I want to do, and that's all there is to it. Most revenants have lost the majority of their memories. I guess I'm something of an oddity in that respect. I've still got almost all of them. And the things I want to forget aren't going anywhere. <laughs> Lucky me, right? Looks like you have the ability to restore people's memories. If you happen to find anything related to me, be sure to let me know, okay? I'll make it worth your while. There could be something out there that I've forgotten. And if that's the case, I want to see what it is. So the kid found the blood spring after all, hmm? Maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. You have returned. Thank you. 
pathetic, perfectly useless. You're expected to pull your own weight in this squad. You'd be easy to replace. Are you really Are you sure I'm cut out for this? this? You've got, You've the, got raw the raw ability. ability. The, rest the rest depends on whether or not you have the guts. guts. End of the road. No. Please. Please. Wait. Wait. Don't take my home away from me. Thank you for your dedication. It wasn't supposed to be like this. You have returned. Blood beats. She couldn't, she couldn't have gotten, gotten far. far. Keep, Keep searching. searching! Should we really be doing this? What else, what else can, can we do? We do? It's, it's the, the only, only way we can get any blood beats. Okay, okay. Let's, let's get out get of here out of while we can. can. This is the last of the blood beats we worked so hard for. All of the blood springs around here have run dry. I couldn't get so much as a single bead from them. I'll need to do something soon. I'm really sorry to make you do all the scary stuff, Mia. I wish I could help you fight. Come on, Nicola. Stop worrying about things like that, all right? As long as you're safe, I'm happy to take care of everything else. Who are you two? Please, I know it's a lot to ask, but could you spare some blood beads? We don't have much time left. Hmm, I can see that loss is starting to set in. You really think you can fight in that condition? Well, I won't know unless I try, right? Come with me. I know a place where there are blood beads.
Most of the blood springs were already dry by the time I became a revenant. Blood beads were difficult to come by, even in the best of circumstances. It was all we could do to survive. That was when we met Carmilla. We soon saw it wasn't us she was helping. She squeezed everything she could from us. In this world, you can never trust a stranger. That's what she taught me. You have returned. Where am I? Am I still alive? No. I know this feeling. I've come back to life again. What happened back there? Crews, everyone was... something new about our world, or the state of those living in it. My feelings of guilt pierced me even deeper. Starving revenants fighting each other for a handful of blood beads, and the ranks of the lost swelling with each successive conflict. I spend my restless days in battle, trying to keep my head above water. Only when I'm engaged in the rush of combat can I close my eyes to the gravity of what I've done. Are... are you helping me? These blood beads... Those men lying over there ordered you to find one, right? Well, now you can keep them. Far too many people keep rev revs as thralls these days. Stay safe. And watch, watch yourself out there. Uh, um, my name, my is, Kevin. name is Kevin. I could, I could give, give you a hand, hand with whatever. whatever. I'll see I'll you. See. Here's what Here's I was, what able, I was to bring. able to bring. It's not it's much, much, but I hope it helps. It helps. Thank you Thank so, you much. so much. much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I wish there was some way I could repay you. I do I this do because, because I want to. Want. Don't worry about me, all right? Tell me Tell if I can help with something. something. I'll do I'll whatever, do whatever I, can I can for you. Revenant boy who I met in my travels and, in the end, brought to his death. He was someone that I never should have forgotten. It's hard to believe that I could let something so important just slip away. Sorry, I don't mean to bother you, but there may be other memories of mine scattered around. If there are, I'd like to get them back discover things that are painful to confront, but I made a decision to face my past head on. Back then, I had no idea what would happen. As Operation Queenslayer dragged on with no foreseeable end, even children were turned into revenants and sent out to fight. And then, when it was over, both the strong and the weak were ravaged by bloodthirst, but with resources thin they had nowhere to turn. I wanted to do something, to do anything to help. That's honestly all there was to it. It never occurred to me that my actions could lead to such tragedy.
You have... This is, this is my home. home. I'm the I'm only one, one who lives here now, now. So, so make yourselves make yourself comfortable. comfortable. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, you can, you call, can me call me Carmela. Carmela. Oh, oh, and just, and just remember, remember, you're going, you're going to, be to be working, working for, me for me from now on. Now on. With, that With that in mind, mind you're, skilled you're skilled at separating, separating others from their, from their blood, blood beads, correct? correct? You helped us even though you knew? I helped you because it was practical for me. So long, so long as I have as you two around, I won't need to need risk, to risk my, my own neck. Why, Why else, else did you think, think I would bother, bother taking you in? Have you always lived, lived alone, alone Carmilla? The past, the past really, really doesn't, doesn't matter, matter, does it? You've got, got bigger, bigger things to worry about, about. Like, like the laundry. The laundry. I'm, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm doing I'm it. it. Did everyone run away from you for being so selfish? Being nice doesn't do you any favors. When it comes down to it, everyone looks out for number one. You would do well to remember that. We're in trouble. The Lost are swarming out there. Huh? Where's Carmilla? I saw her leave a little while ago. She must, she must have caught, caught wind of them and took off. off. We, need we need to run, to Nicola. Run, Nicola. Get the, Get the blood beads beat from storage. From storage. But, but those, those belong, belong to Carmilla. You remember, you remember what, what she, she said. said. Being, Being nice, nice doesn't do you any favors. Now hurry, now hurry up, up, Nicola. Nicola. began. From that moment onward, we lived our lives completely on our own, without any help from others. There was a part of me that wanted to trust Carmilla. She was cold and standoffish, but that didn't mean she was a bad person. I thought maybe she was just awkward with people, but I was wrong. In this world, you can only rely on your own strength. No one out there is going to save you. I learned that lesson all too well. That's why meeting you guys was such a big shock for me. You were willing to reach out to me, a complete stranger, like it was no big deal. Spending time with all of you made me realize something. It's true that being nice might not do you any favors in the end. But that's what you need to do if you want to live a fulfilling life. But when I think of it... The reason that we lived the way we did before we met you was because of everything that happened back then with Carmilla. But you know, after she took off, I never did see her again. I wonder what ended up happening to her. You have returned.
Kevin was a boy who had been enslaved by a group of merciless rebels. Over time, stopping by to give him blood beads became something of a routine. But one day, that pattern was broken. When I went to see him, he was nowhere to be found, and his dwelling had been torn apart. I heard everything from someone who said they knew Kevin. A few days earlier, a revenant had attacked him and turned him to ash. The attacker was after the blood beads I'd given Kevin. save him just by giving him blood beads, that it would be enough. But I lacked true commitment to his survival, and in the end, that's what killed him. I appreciate your kindness, but it's unnecessary. It is what it is. I won't let myself forget again. You have... Listen up. Our scouts have finally discovered the Queen's location. We're sending you in under orders to track down and destroy any lost in the area. Destroy the lost? But how? We haven't even finished our training yet. You'll learn in the field, Revenant. Protect your hearts and you will never die. Your sacrifice will help open a path to the future. begging for us to lift him. But, hey, don't, don't worry, though. We're gonna let you live. As long as you want your ass off. Damn you! You'll enjoy this! Those hellish days went on and on. Stealing to survive. To us, it was only natural. I was ordered to take blood beads from other kids, the ones that were just like me. As long as they could get beads, they would live. Survival was more bead to bead than day to day. That was when Louis came along and reached out to me. No one had ever done that for me before. That's how our world is. I'm sure you've seen it yourself. There's no shortage of people who will exploit others to make their own lives easier. I have crossed blades with their miserable sword on more than one occasion, while I was researching the blood beads. It was a small thing, but I was certain that it would do some good.
You have returned. Damn it. Damn it! The whole place is swarming with horrors. We need to get out of here fast! Wait, Ricky. Some of our people are injured. Leave them behind. We don't have the numbers to sit around defending the wounded. There's a building surrounded by a moat up ahead. We can take refuge there for a while. It should give us some cover. <laughs> are you kidding me, Yakumo? You want to stick, stick around, around until everyone, everyone heals? heals? Take, Take a look, a look outside, outside Nakamo. It's, it's horror town. town. We need, we to, need look to look for a way out while, while we still, still can. can. And just, and just leave, leave our friends, friends behind? behind? I'm not going to do that. I can't. I can't. I'd rather I'd die, die here defending them. <laughs> You've completely You've lost, lost it, man. It. I guess I it's guess just us who want to live. live. See you, Yakumo. Right, right. Those people, they were my old comrades. We might be able to find out where they are now if we follow their memories. You know, use them as a kind of trail. We stayed with the injured. I guess. In a way, I'm the one who left Riki behind back then. Along with everyone who followed him. In the end, all of us who chose to stay died. Maybe if we had talked it out more, we could have found a way to stick together. Maybe then some of us might have survived. <laughs> no, thanks for saying that. Still, I get it in my head sometimes. I start to wonder, did all those guys who left blame me for their deaths? Well, it's not like I'll find the answer now, no matter how many times I ask. You're crazy, crazy if you're, you're thinking, thinking of helping those guys who got separated, separated Yakumo. Yakumo. It's, it's suicide! suicide. There are They're friends, friends Riki. I won't, I won't ignore, ignore them. them. Always, Always digging, digging your heels in. You'll get, You'll get everyone killed. killed. I'll, help I'll help you this, you this one time. time. After, After this, this, you're on your own. own. It was you, wasn't it, Yakumo? You're the one that stopped our trade. Trade? trade. You mean looting things to sell in the black market? Call it what you want, but you're no better than thieves. Riki, we were orphans. You remember what it was like. Nito took everything from us before we even knew we had it, and we were powerless to stop him. 
How could you steal from someone weaker than you? Always the golden boy, huh? I've never fallen for your insipid act. Fine, then. Let's settle this right here, right now. I'll show you what happens to simpering brats like you who don't know when to quit. Son of a... Back it off already, would you? Back off? I don't think so. If I did that, you would have killed me. <laughs> That's why I don't like you. just a sore loser or if it went deeper than that. But Riki had been coming after me ever since we were little kids. The two of us disagreed on absolutely everything and got into fights damn near every single day. Calling him a good guy would be a stretch, but, well, at least he was honest with himself. That's something. You have a... Are you sure about this, Ricky? Leaving Yakubo and them behind? We finally have a chance to live free instead of being mercenary thralls forever. I'm not gonna die now. Okay, but what's the plan for escape? We'll keep an eye out for a rescue chopper. There should be a couple where the horrors are thin. Hey, Ricky! Ricky! I finally found a chopper! Hey! Hey! What the, the, that thing just... It just bit through our ticket out of here. Those bastards eat any damn thing in front of them. There's nowhere we can run. Hey, hey pull yourself pull together. together. We're, getting We're getting out of here alive. alive. After all, if we'd been patient, if we just stayed together. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, I was hoping you would give me a hand looking for more of their memories. You have returned.
The first face we saw when we woke up from the deep sleep was one we thought we'd never see again. Miguel's. We were mauled to death by horrors after the Great Collapse. Mido collected our bodies and brought them back to life with things called boar parasites. Most of us didn't survive the revival process, but they might have been the lucky ones. The rest of us were thrown right back into thraldom. If I could just somehow find a way to get out of this place, maybe while Mido is busy experimenting on Emily. You know, Yakumo still feels bad about what happened back then. When the two of you guys fought and split up. He does? Yeah. I think he always wonders if there might have been another way. <laughs> like I even care about that. This is just what I've been waiting for. Let's slip out in the confusion. What about Yakumo? He's still asleep. You already know the answer. He was always a blind goody two-shoes. I despised him to his last breath. I won't be satisfied until he wakes up and I get to punch that stupid face of his one more time. hard work, I can offer new weapons. Take a look if you'd like. I'm sorry. I was watching Eva for so long, but I couldn't do anything. After I gave her the blood beads, I thought things were getting better, but she suddenly got worse. I think she's still suffering on her own. Please, take care of her. Thanks to you, I was able to meet an old friend. Thanks. But I went and promised to make onigiri for her. Now I have to clean this mess up so I can do it right. Who knows what kind of traps might be waiting. We should keep extra vigilant this time. Haste trips over its own heels, they say. It's times like these that require the coolest heads. Make sure you're ready. So awful, but I never realized. Let's find Eva quickly. I won't let Mito get away with doing whatever he wants. Friends, if 
feels funny using such a sentimental word like that in our current situation. But now I understand just how difficult having friends can be. Thinking about them, getting mad, or worried, or amused, it's so much busier than when it was just the two of us. But the funny thing is, it just feels right to me. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. Well, now you know how I am, but it's good to be here. I've really got to get stronger now. Your life depends on what you carry. Stock up while you can. We don't have a wide selection, but the quality is guaranteed. A lot of our stock comes straight from the provisional government. There's not a kind soul among them, but if you jump through their hoops, they'll deliver the goods. There's tell of people selling fakes made of scrap. Well, it's slim pickings these days, and we've all got to make a living, don't we? If you want it, I got it. Watch yourself out there. I feel like the lost here have been behaving strange lately. We've received a report that one, well, don't let the lost make a meal out of you. 